This is Chad Dukes here on the interwebs leading website, thefukerton.com, and heard locally in the D.C. area on WJFK. We're here with WEC UFC veteran who runs his own mixed martial arts school. Jeff Curran joins us on the show right now. Jeff, what's going on, man? Uh, just sitting at my laptop in my office working away. Very cool. Uh, now, you run your own gym now, correct? Yeah, I've actually had my academy for about 11 years now, so... I took the opposite approach and started my gym uh, as a priority in the early stages of my fight career. And, uh, you know, now I'm, I'm able to focus a little bit more on fighting and, and let my staff run the gym. So that, that works out. Yeah, I've I talked to guys like Aaron Riley. We've had some authors on and they talk about the explosion of mixed martial arts' as popularity in the United States that is leading a lot of guys to train. What's it been like running a school for the past decade? Have you noticed like a monumental increase in the amount of weekend warriors that like to get inside there and learn what the sport's all about? Yeah, you know, the, the martial arts business is, is weird, man. There's a lot of goofy people in martial arts, you know. <laughs> uh, you, you tend... Traditional martial arts schools like karate and kung fu and taekwondo, uh, 11 years ago or so when I first started, they tended to, the emphasis tended to be more on, you know, just that self-defense and family atmosphere. And you get a lot of, like, kids and, and adults that never done a sport in their life, and this is kind of like their chance to be active in something. So you get all types of uh, different people, I guess you could say. Uh, now... People walk through the door wanting to be fighters. They walk through the door, you know, former athletes or, you know, college athletes or high school standouts, and they come in and they want to train as hard as they can because they want to be fighters. So I've definitely seen that uh, that change over the past decade for sure. Hey, man, I don't want to name drop, but we had a chance to catch up with uh, Jens Pulver a couple weeks back, and well, the advent of the, the guy in the bar in the tap-out or affliction shirt claiming that he trains in fighting, and he's... Do you get a lot of douchebags that show up, to be honest? Because it seems to me, I've met a lot of people in the mixed martial arts community, and most of them pretty cool guys that really just like to train because they enjoy it and they love it and they want to, like, improve themselves. But there's also some guys that ruin it for everybody. How many, like a-holes and douches do you get in there per like normal guy that just wants to improve himself and maybe get in shape it's uh out of i would say out of about 250 adult students that i have 250 yeah. 260 uh i got about 100 kids so about 250 to 275 adult students i've got 12 fighters and that includes me wow now i've got a handful of you know maybe another 20 guys that do jiu-jitsu tournaments here and there you know as a hobby and some do some amateur boxing and stuff, but fighters, guys that are trying to make a career and stuff like that, I've only got like 12 guys. Hmm. And, you know, there's a, the reason for that is just the standards I've kept up. I don't, I don't put up with those guys that come in acting tough and yeah. shut them down right away. And they tell me, how soon can I fight? How soon can I fight? And say, you know, I'm going to probably, uh, walk out the door as fast as you walked in when I tell you, man. And, and then they, oh, really, what's that? You know, I'm a street fighter and I was in the military or whatever reason they got, or I'm just out of prison is a good one. But as soon as you tell them, you know, hey, you got to learn jiu-jitsu for a year or two and you got to learn, you know, kickboxing and, and then you can start really getting ready to fight, they start thinking, oh, wow, it's going to be two years before I fight. And, you know, all types, man. I've had 40-year-old men come in tell me that they their wife let them quit their job and they're going to train and be fighters. And I look at them like, are you insane? <laughs> you know, you got four kids and you think you're going to be a fighter. You're going to, for me, I have to fight as an amateur first, you know, for the first year or two just to get some experience. But, man, yeah, so I don't know. I don't promote to be the gym that has tons of guys coming to be fighters. I just keep my standards. And I've really got this next five years, I'm going to have a lot of people just coming on the scene and, you know, kind of excited about it. Well, that's cool, man. And it just—it seems to me that it's weird that you don't see guys that sit around like the 35 and they watch a sport. Like, I don't know, they watch baseball or football and be like, oh, man, I'm going to train real hard for six months and then Jordan I'm going to go be on the Bears. I don't get that mentality. Yeah, I, I say it to people all the time when they bring it up. I said, do you really think that you should, uh, that just because, you know, you were really good at high school baseball even, <laughs> that now you get this urge you're going to go play in, in – uh, 
you know, for the Cubs or something and on an open tryout. I mean, what are the who who lives like that? I don't know, but <laughs> you get it all t- 